everybody. I'm Chris Beatty from Grow Talks Magazine, and this is the big, beautiful, new Ball Premier Seed Lab. Just opened up last fall. They've been building it for the last couple of years, and we're going to take a tour inside. Now, Ball has been treating seed for a long, long time, and they've been doing a great job at it, but they've had really old, kind of run-down facilities to do it uh, in, and it was time to get into the 21st century. So Marianne Berg is gonna be our tour guide to show you the inner workings of all the cool high-tech seed stuff they do at Ball. Let's go find her. Oh, check this out. This is a, a green wall that they've installed here at the new uh, Premier Lab, which we're going to talk about near the end when I get into the LEED certification. But as I promised, we're going to meet uh, Marianne Berg. Marianne, how are Hi, you? Chris, nice to see you. Well, thanks for having us. Now, you are the manager, manager. here yes, at the Ball Seed Lab. Now, tell us just a little bit about the new Ball Premier Lab, Premier as it's Lab, called. Right. Well, we do all the pelleting, coating, um, germ testing, and priming in this lab, and we're supported by a research group that makes all new developments and supports all the old developments. We have about 30 full-time employees and we have about 10 uh, temporaries that we have in, during the peak season. And we do about 50% of all of the seed per value um, that Ball Seed and Pan American Seed sell. You said you customers. don't even have any idea how many seeds go through here in a year, but can I you quantify don't. in any way how much you do? Well, I know that we can do, uh, if a pelleter on our automated pelleting system can uh, do up to between seven and nine million seeds a day pellets. So that's just one person. Nine so million seeds a day. I think we go into the billions. But who's counting? That's true. <laughs> billions that's of true. seeds. Now, this is a fancy new building. You've worked here how long? 30 years? 30 you said. years I have been. So yes. you came from some sort of uh, uh, humble digs we did. here. Can we you describe did. what the old lab was um, like? Well, yes, we were kind of like an add on to the building, and, and it was probably about 20 years ago, 25 years ago, that they stead, started adding on. And as the years went by, of course, it was starting to deteriorate. So we were kind of what we call the dungeon area. <laughs> and we were disconnected from the building. So no matter what, what weather it was, we had to walk over here no matter what to bring our seed over here and to get the new seed to process, that type of thing. Right. So it was a little inconvenient. You now have the fanciest place on the ball campus. We do. Everybody's jealous of a us And now. you're, you're going to actually take us in behind the scenes I to am. see all this cool new stuff yes. and the processes you do. Yes, I am. All right, let's do it. OK, let's go. Mary Ann, this has got to be the coolest thing I've ever seen. And this is only our first stop. This is the first stop. These are our coating machines. These are called fluid beds. Fluid we're beds? Actually, right. We're actually pumping the fluid onto the seed. We have our solution um, under the counter. This is our yellow. This is our final coat. This is our trademark color. And it's actually coming up through these hoses, through this pump, and through the nozzle at the very bottom of the column. And the seed is actually being kept suspended in here by a uh, air pressure and a torrent system. And this seed is actually being coated. There's heat interjected into here, and the seed is being coated as it's in the column. How many seeds in there do you think? In here, there's probably about 500,000. Half a million. And what, are, what kind of seeds are those? This is a marigold. Marigold. I'm not sure the ones are these. Bonanza bee. Ah, Bonanza bee. Bonanza bee marigold. And you're just simply coating the seed. What's the purpose yeah. of this particular coating? Okay, this is to give it more uh, weight and visibility for the growers. It goes easier through their seeder, and it's better placement on the soil. Now, as the operator, this is a big deal for us. He's one of our technicians. As he's doing this, we're going to show you what's happening at the bottom of the next column. That's the actually raw seed in the next column. Well, what did he just do there? He's yanking these handles, and uh, magic just oh, happened. This actually is, they have blast gates at the very top, and that's how we open and close the air volume that's going into the column. So he's putting our talc on there. Just baby powder, huh? It's a, well, it's, it's like baby powder, but it's a special talc we buy. All right. And then he's going to start it again, and that's how we mix the talc into the uh, actual. Well, look at it go. This looks like it's great fun. This isn't work. You yeah, think it's like a, it. it's like a carnival or something Although in here? Actually, I have to say it's very hard work because all this equipment has to be cleaned every single night before they go home. So here's how we get the seed out of there. The, the thing actually rotates, the column rotates, and we put it into a special uh, holder that we have. All right. How many batches of seeds does uh, does he do like this a day? Um, he, each column can do, do between two and three. All right. So they have. He runs all four of these columns, so he can probably get maybe three or four batches. And there's a lot of column action back here. How many do you have? Uh, we actually have 16 columns. They're all different sizes. These two are 12 inches, and then the orange one with the VCG is is a uh, six inch column. And the very last one is a white base coat. That's a four inch column. All right. And Amigio is about to drop in this beautiful salad bowl here. Yeah. And yeah. 
It'll, It'll be ready to package right. and uh, send out to a customer. This is a special container we have for getting the seed out. Very cool. All right, look, show us what's next, Marion. Next, we're going to go to the pelling area and see the automated pelleting. All right. Now, Marianne, this looks like a cross between, I don't know, a cement factory and Willy Wonka's candy factory. Yes, actually, these are the same kind of pans they use at the Ferrara Candy Company in Chicago. I've seen that on TV when they're shape. making, like, lemon heads and exactly, stuff like that. Exactly. Red but you're hot. making seed. We're making seed. We're All making right. pelleted seeds. All right, show us what's going on with okay, these, uh, these machines. This is the automated pelleting. And these two pans are run by this computer that's right here. And actually, we have all kinds of recipes on here to make sure that the seed gets to the perfect sizing. All right, now, now you're coating seeds in here, pelleting, pelleting. the seed, not coating. Right. Coating was right. extra. Right. This is pelleting. making an actual pellet. So what's the idea? Why do you pellet a seed? Okay, the pelleting of the seed is almost the basic uh, uh, um, wait a minute. It's the basic idea, the same as coating, is that we have better visibility, more weight to the seed, and better placement on the soil. Uh, a lot of the seed is so small, like begonia, and most of the seed is dark in color, so when it's on the soil, you don't see it. But when we color it yellow, it's perfectly visible, and the growers like that. So the manual color does this all by eye and by color, where the automated people do it by uh, measuring the moisture on it and um, actually screening it for size. Right. Now, one of the products you do now is the, the multi-variety That's correct. Pellets. Right. Show us that. Yeah, we do a lot of multi-seed crops. All right, Marianne, this is the, what, the salad bowl This is our new uh, global mixture. gourmet salad bowl mix, and we want to demonstrate how we do our multi-seeded varieties. Here, as you can see, the raw seed, there's about 13 different varieties and in you, the seed. And you can see all the different uh, types of seed in there. Right. So it is a wide variety of little lettuces, right? Right. They're all lettuce, the radicino, that type of thing. All right. And then you have your seed clusters. This is what it looks like when we cluster it together to get our uh, multi-pellet. And then right. the next one is just all the pelleted. That's, that's what the final pellet coat around it. So that, that's how it comes to the customer. Okay. And in order for us to make sure that we have the right amount of seeds in it, we have to do a simulation. So we actually dissolve the seed pellets on a pad of, uh, with some water on it. And we actually ah. count how many seeds we have in each to, pellet to come up with an average of anywhere between 10 and 12. To prove that you did get a mix exactly. in that process. Exactly. Very cool. All right, what's next? Okay, now we're going to go to the germ testing area, and we're going to see our BVI system. We're going to see if the seed actually works. It definitely, yes. Let's do it. This is our germ testing area, and in this area is where we sow all of our testing. We do about 18,000 tests a year, and two-thirds of them have our ball vigor index number, which we call our BVI number, which is going to tell the grower how vigorous the seed's going to be. Here you can see why we coat our seed. This is coated zinnia and is more visible on the soil. It's easier to place in the center of the cell. And this is for testing purposes? This is all just for testing what you, purposes. What are you testing for? We're testing for germination percentage and the vigor of the seed. Because every package has a germination percentage that goes out to the customer. And two thirds of all the um, things that we sow, all the crops that we sow, are, have BVI numbers on them also. And the BVI number, the higher the number, the more vigorous the seed. The grower really likes to get the high numbers on the packages. Got to have good seed. And there, here's uh, some sewing going yeah, on right over here. We're doing sewing over here. Actually, Adela's doing some ball control growth. It's our orange uh, coating. It's a marigold. And she's putting that into our, um, to our uh, vacuum-operated sewing head. Yeah, this is not like high-speed uh, uh, Blackmore uh, no. cranking them out uh, 1,200 flats no. uh, an hour kind no, of thing. No, but it? it's much easier than doing it the way they used to, which has been hand sewing it. So these are uh, all different size sewing heads for all different crops. Very precisely done. After the flats get sewn, they go to the um, watering tunnel and the vermiculite coater, and then from there they go into the mist chamber and the grow-out chamber. Chris, every crop has its own amount of time in the mist chamber and in the grow-out chambers. We call them stage one and stage two. Uh, Petunia will stay in stage one for three days and then come into stage two for seven days to grow out. And a begonia will stay in stage one for 10 days and then come out for the other eight days into the grow-out chamber. And then what happens? Well, I'm going to show you now Danielle doing our BVI system, which is the Ball Bigger Index, the computer imaging system. And in this area here, the computer is actually doing all of our germination testing and our BVI numbers, which uh, actually tells the grower how good it's going to germinate and exactly how vigorous the seed's going to be. So you've got little tiny seedlings here. How old are they? Ten days. Ten days, and you put them under this uh, light and a light and a, and a uh, camera, way and, up high. Right, and the computer is actually taking images of the seed at this point. 
and it will go on and do a bunch of different calculations and at the end we will have our germination percentage and our BVI number for the customers packages. All right Danielle how do these seeds look? They look good. All right what kind of BVI you think you'll, you'll give them? Uh, uh, I'm gonna guess it's 750. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Very now, I've noticed things keep getting quieter and quieter. Do, and yes. We've come upstairs yes. here in the new Premier Lab. This is the priming area of the lab, and we're going to demonstrate how we do, how we prime a what we call a thin layer box of pansy. Priming. Priming. This For layman, what is priming? Priming means that we're actually enhancing the seed. We're bringing it just to the point of germination, and then we're drying it down, and then we're selling it to the customers as a prime product. And it actually grows about two weeks sooner. It has it's more vigorous and it's more heat tolerant. Check this out. So this so it's is just like special, she's a pastry chef yes, or something. This is a special solution that we make in-house, and we actually put it on a, a special pad that we purchase. And we use this technical piece of equipment, which is a paint roller with a radiator hose on it. And we're actually... Um, You're giving making, away all the secrets. The competition are, are, may be uh, watching are. this. Um, what, we're, what she's doing is she's evenly distributing that solution onto that pad so that when the seed is put on that pad, it's there to imbibe the solution, so we want to make sure that each seed gets the same amount of solution. So we put a ball bearing in the center of it because the lid is the same size as the box and we want, don't want the lid to concave down onto the seed. So what Marcella has here is about 40,000 seeds and she's sprinkling that evenly on that pad. Marcella must be great in the garden. She is wonderful. She's Look one of our that. best primers and this does take a lot of talent. It looks easy, but it's not easy at all because if you put it in clusters or clumps, you can't move it because it sticks to the solution. No, next time I'm doing grass seed, I want yes. you in my garden, Marcella. There you go. There you go. All right, and what kind of seed is this? This is pansies. Okay. So then Marcella will put the lid on. Oh, now I see what the little ball bearing was for. Yes. Just to hold the lid up. And Smart because up. we want that seed to imbibe that solution and not to have any of the solution evaporate, we actually use another technical piece of equipment, which is uh, electrical tape to cover to seal the box. High tech, building, High tech building, simple <laughs> solutions, but you do some amazing we do. technical stuff. And I want to we be clear do. too, we were talking earlier about the old building. You were doing this high tech stuff in the old building well, as we well. Were, we had a very, very high quality product going out of that, even though we had a lot of obstacles in our way. And to the, now with the new building, everything is much better than it was before, and we still have the high quality product coming out here. And you still got electrical tape. And we still use electrical it's tape. It's good stuff. Yes. I use it all the time. Now, <laughs> now, where does this go? Okay, now this goes into the incubator in the next room. And that's where it actually stays in there for anywhere from seven to nine days, and it actually starts uh, priming the seed primes itself. Okay, now Chris, this is where the actual boxes of the prime seed goes. Um, they are stacked by variety. And inside here, it's dark also because the seed likes to be primed in the dark. That's why the boxes are opaque. And Chris, this is our drying room in here. And as you can see, we have two different types of drying. This is a drying tunnel where we actually put seed that um, we primed in bags. Over here is where our thin layer boxes are, where they're actually, the seed is drying on here to be taken up tomorrow morning. So this is all primed? This is all primed seed. And now you're stopping the growing process. Yes, so by drying it down, we're stopping the growing process. And it'll go from here to, uh, to packaging. Right. right, tomorrow morning we'll take it up, we'll do moisture testing on it, we'll screen it for any imperfections, package it up, and send it down to the seed receiving area the tire. Well, Mary Ann, that is so cool. Wasn't that neat? This I, is a very unique area, Chris. I tell you what, and I am uh, thrilled that we got this really cool behind-the-scenes tour of the new Premier Seed Lab. I know you're proud of the, uh, the um, facilities. We are. And they're definitely state-of-the-art. They're probably no, none better on the planet, I guess, right? I wouldn't think so. We're very proud of this area, and we take great pride in doing all the, the work for the growers. And if the growers are happy, we're happy. All right, well, keep up the good work, and I think we'll have a lot more appreciation for all that goes into these little tiny seeds that we're, we're buying from Ball. I think so, after people see what goes, all the work that goes into it to get it to the customer. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Well, one of the cool things about the new uh, Premier Seed Lab building is the building itself. Ball is going for LEED certification. Now, LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. And it, uh, it means they've done some different things with the building. For instance, this building is going to use 18% less energy and 30% less uh, plumbing water than an ordinary building. 20% of the building materials came from recycled content and 80% of the construction waste was recycled. In fact, a couple of pieces made it into my own garden. Uh, they're gonna collect the stormwater runoff on the roofs, 18,000 gallons for every inch and a half of rain. Uh, they're doing some things to reduce the uh, air conditioning costs. Uh, the, irrigation, the landscape will be low irrigation. Uh, they're gonna minimize runoff and all kinds of neat stuff like that. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour with uh, Marianne and, and got a better appreciation for everything that goes into a, a little seed. For Grower Talks Magazine, I'm Chris Bates, and we'll see you next time.